quick look at a tape measure Yagi. I'm not going to go into too much detail because hundreds if not thousands of people around the world have built them successfully. Construction details are also widely available. The good thing about it is it packs up nice and small. You can fit it in even the smallest of vehicles or even carry it around. It's also very light. I'm just using a bit of scrap wood as the boom. And it's also very cheap. You can buy cheap tape measures almost anywhere. There is, however, one major disadvantage that tape measure antennas have. They can only be used when it's still or winds are very light. Nevertheless, it still gives good performance. It's very quick to build, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, and you can increase your 5 watts power up to around 15 to 20 watts with the amount of gain that this would give you. Not only fox hunting, but it would be a great antenna for VHF field days, provided it's not too windy, and also for new satellites. Looking at the elements a bit more closely, and I'll put up some dimensions later on, this is the reflector. This is the driven element. It's got a hairpin loop, 100 millimeters of wire, fed directly with RG58 coax. Now, because I cut it short, I had to put some extra length. I just used some tin copper wire to form a loop there. Then finally, also a single piece like the reflector is the director. That's the shortest element of the lot. using the three element beam and there's clearly a null off the back it almost disappears here's the dipole so the beam's definitely stronger what you'd expect comparing a three element beam with just the single element Thought it might have a bit of extra weight on it, might have made the steering a little bit heavier. Now an announcement on the LC meter competition. There are three entries that were particularly hard to judge. Congratulations to Phil VK8 VWA who won the first prize of the LC meter. Phil mentioned a large number of projects, so good luck in those and hope that the meter helps. Chris VK3ABU, working in Parabadu, gets the transistor tester, so hopefully that is useful also. And Trevor Day gets an 80 meter receiver. So happy listening Trevor and good luck to getting your amateur license. All entrants have been emailed, and once I have your address, I'll get the prizes off to you. And my thanks to those who entered.